Hi there everybody, hope all is well. Today we're having a look at the A7S4 and the best way to actually shoot slow motion with it. So guys, if you do like my type of content, here are some of the videos coming up on my channel uh, during the next few weeks. So don't, if you want to see some of these videos, feel free to subscribe. So before we go into the settings on how I like to set up uh, the settings on the A7 IV for slow motion. You, we really need to talk about the normal video mode and the SQ mode. And there are actually benefits to shooting in both these modes. So the SQ mode is a way to slow down and fasten up your footage if you want to. And one of the great things on the A7 IV is that you can use the SQ mode to actually slow down the footage in camera directly. And that is a beautiful thing. So if you want to shoot in 100 frames per second, but you want it to play back in 25 frames per second, as I like to do, you can do that in camera in the SQ mode. So that is a beautiful thing. However, there is a downside to shooting in SQ mode and that is that you won't get any audio in this mode. And to be honest, it's very seldom that I actually use audio from slow motion clips, but whenever I need to use it, it's really handy to have it there. Uh, so that's kind of a bummer, even though I don't use it too often. Now in the normal video mode, we do get audio. However, we don't get the ability to slow down the footage in camera. So you have to slow down it in post, which doesn't matter too much for me except for when I'm looking at the footage in camera, when I'm out shooting, I would like to have that ability to actually slow down in camera so I can see the slow down version of the footage that I have shot. So let's start by talking about 50 and 60p. And why I say 50 and 60p is because I actually don't see it as 50 and 60p, I see it as 2x slow motion. Because I am shooting in 25p most of the time, because I am in Europe, I will only be able to shoot in 50p, which lets me slow down the image two times, so it's a two times slow motion. The a7 IV does have a limit here, and it doesn't shoot in full frame 4K, 50p. However, if you do want to shoot in 50 or 60p, you can go down to a super 35 millimeter sensor, which basically what it does, it crops in on your sensor and doesn't use the whole sensor of the image. So you have to think about which lenses you're using. However, there is a good thing about shooting in super 35 millimeter mode, and that is if you don't like the rolling shutter performance of the a7 IV, you will get much better rolling shutter performance while shooting in super 35 mode because the sensor will be read much faster. So if you do want to shoot in 60 or 50p and you want to use that whole sensor, you have to go down to full HD. Which also is a good thing because you don't have to think about too much which lenses you're using. Okay, so we have some kind of a dogfight here in the background. So let's now talk about 100 frames per second and 120 frames per second, or what I call the 4X slow motion mode. And here are some of the limitations that you need to know about on the A7 IV. If you do want to shoot in the normal video mode where you do get audio, you will be limited to only shooting in 8 bits. However, if you do want to shoot in 10 bit, you do need to go to SQ mode where you will lose audio. On the other hand, you will be able to see your slow motion directly in camera if you if you're choosing to slow it down to your normal frame rate. So if you're wondering what the difference between 8-bit and 10-bit is on your camera, it's basically that 10-bit has 16 times more color information in the image that you're using. And when you're color grading your video in post, you will see that you won't have as much banding, whereas if you're shooting in 8-bit, banding would appear quite quickly. Basically, to sum it up, if you want to shoot uh, 10 bit, 100 frames per second, or 120 frames per second, you need to shoot in SQ mode. And if you want to shoot in 50 or 60p, you have to make the choice between using full frame or super 35 piece of the sensor, or and if you want to shoot in 4K or full HD. So also one of the biggest benefits to actually shooting in slow motion is that you will get so much more stabilized video. So a lot of people like to shoot uh, slow motion while using it on a gimbal, while following people. So yeah, stabilization will get 2x or 4x better when shooting in slow motion, depending on which frame rate you're shooting on. So one thing that not a lot of people talk about uh, when it comes to slow motion is when to use 50 or 60p, which is 2x the slow motion, and when to use 100 or 120 frames per second. 
and personally and this is my rule of thumb when I'm shooting people I really love that 2x slow motion I don't think it's too much and you really get like the that that emotion that people give when they're in motion however when it comes to products and details uh, I really like to slow it down 4x and it's very seldom even on my Sony a7s 3 that I go to to 40 frames per second because I basically don't need it that often so as I said uh, a lot of the times for people 2x slow motion which means 50 or 60p and for details and stuff and products and things I like to shoot in 4x so one of the videos that is coming up is how I set up the Sony a7 IV and I'll, I will also let you download the files so you can set it up in the same way that I will do so guys I hope you like this video and if you have any questions for me you know where to leave them and uh, yeah subscribe as always stay tuned for next video bye bye so after shooting the video we have to do something fun